Hey there Sagittarius, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be a reading of how your person feels about you, how they feel, are, are feeling right now, how they see you, where they see your relationship at this point, and how you are feeling about the relationship. Okay, we'll also take a look at an outcome. Now, be aware that these roles can be reversed. So if you feel like they're reversed, go ahead and flip them. Or you can also take a look at your person's sign, if you know that, and uh, see more messages there. This message is also timeless, so when you see it is when you're, uh, when you're ready to receive it. So let's get into it. Okay, for your person, we have abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Okay, for you, we have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Okay, so I feel like, you know, your person may be very ambitious. They may be a go-getter. They may be, you know, really working on their career, really focused, really ready to achieve new leaps and bounds. And I feel like you feel very left out. You feel very alone. Okay, so let's take a deeper look. How is Sagittarius's person feeling at this moment? What's going on with Sagittarius's person? Give me a message, Spirit. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands, okay? And how does Sagittarius' person feel about them? Oh, a lot of cards wanted to fall out here. We can't accept all of those. At least seven cards fell out. I'll show you the cards real quick, but I'm not going to accept them. Okay, we have the High Priestess, we have the Six of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Death card, the Lovers, and the Seven of Cups. So I feel like your person has a lot of feelings towards you. They have a lot of emotions. They feel like you're a lover, a friend, you're like a confidant, you are, you know, you're very multifaceted. Uh, you have a lot of opportunities, a lot of options. Your person just sees you and sees the world in you. You know, so I feel like, you know, your person, see, your person sees the world in you. Oh my gosh. Thank you, spirit. Okay, when it comes to your relationship, your person sees this as the Knight of Wands. So they see this relationship as moving forward. Okay, for you, you see this relationship as the Temperance card. Okay, we also have the Queen of Wands at the bottom. So I feel like you have a lot of passion, a lot of drive. You really care very deeply about this person. They're very attractive, very go-getting. And, you know, you may have the same qualities, but I feel like, you know, you are able to kind of delegate things a little bit easier than your person does. Maybe they're not able to you know set the priorities as clearly as you can okay because i feel like right now your person is trying to figure out what is more important and uh, they have a lot of burdens and a lot of responsibilities and they feel like they want to you know put you as a very important priority but they're like very discouraged and very distraught at this moment because there's so much for them on the table they may be overloading themselves with work or with, you know, um, a certain passion that they have, you know, some kind of obligation that they need to do, but they, they want to put you first. They just are trying so hard to figure out how to do that. Okay, because they see you as having all the qualities that they love in you, Sagittarius. They see you as the world. They see you as this great accomplishment, their biggest accomplishment. Okay, and for your relationship, they feel like it's moving forward the way it's supposed to, but they feel like they can make changes. They feel like, you know, things, you know, just 
need to be moving in the right direction. Okay? For you, Sagittarius, I feel like you are having a lot of patience because you know that your person has a lot of dreams, a lot of goals, a lot of desires. So you're having a lot of patience in this situation and you are, you know, focused on just having your eye on that blessing. And I feel like you see your person as that blessing. You know, you may be trying to find the balance in the situation or trying to, you know, regain your focus. But I feel like you have the ability to balance things out very well. Because you have your eye on your goal and you know how to set your goals and your priorities correctly. I don't feel like your person is quite there yet. Okay? Your person doesn't really know how to set those important goals. They just have so many obligations that they, you know, they're feeling like discouraged and overweighted right now. Okay? But they think the world of you, Sagittarius. This is beautiful. Okay, we're going to go ahead and clarify these cards. Clarify these cards for Sagittarius. Why is this Ten of Wands here? Okay, we have the Tower. With this Ten of Wands energy, your person needs to make changes. They need to make changes or everything around them is going to collapse. You know, they're going to have this tower moment because they're carrying so many burdens. They're carrying way too much. And I feel like this tower is just around the corner because changes need to be made. There needs to be more freedom here. Otherwise, they're going to have total burnout. Okay. Um, okay. So why is this world here? Tell me about the world card for Sagittarius. The King of Wands. Yeah, your your person sees you as a lot of passion, a lot of drive, a lot of, you know, um, fire. They see you as someone who is very passionate about the things that they want and they actually go for what they desire. You know, um, I, I feel like your person actually may have manifested you into their life. Um, they were looking for someone just like you. Okay. And I feel like, you know, you are that person. You are that blessing. You are that gift to them. That's how they see this relationship. They see this relationship as going to the next level, beginning something beautiful and and offer a gift, a great opportunity, okay? So your person sees you very highly. Um they may set you on a pedestal, okay? So let's go ahead and get an outcome real quick. Okay. Wow, at the bottom we have the judgment card. So something is being rejuvenized. Something is um, being revitalized, becoming new. This is a renewal of faith. Moving out of your comfort zone and finding a new passion, a new way of doing things. You know, um, I feel like your person is trying to come out of their comfort zone and trying to renew the faith in you. Okay, um, I feel like your person, th there's going to be more balance. There is going to be some decisions that need to be made. There is going to be some options that need to be left behind here. Um, but I feel like you're moving into a better place. Um, once these choices are made to set your priorities correctly, I feel like you'll be moving in the right direction. You're moving into a more calm, more relaxing place in your life and in your love life. Okay? Something is going to blossom. Something is nurturing. There's something being manifested here. And for some reason, I feel like that, that manifestation is time. 
I feel like your person is wanting more time with you to make things better, to move into the right direction. So I feel like things are becoming more fertile, more stable. Um, they're nurturing the situation. It may be that you or this person are both single parents. Maybe there's children involved. But I feel like things are going much better, more smoother. Um, and more easier is what I'm getting. Things are coming a lot easier. You know. Um, let's get an angel number for Sagittarius. Let's get an angel number for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Okay, we have oh we we have one 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 destiny. Follow what you feel. Listen as your intuition helps to guide you to what you are manifesting. The inner whispers are helping you to create all that is that you desire. Listen, lean in, and follow your soul. Okay? Now, Sagittarius, your affirmation... Life is always happening for me. I am allowing myself to lean in to what feels good. Okay? So destiny. This is a destined situation. This is divinely guided. Okay? So what's happening for you right now is divinely guided. So there's a lot of great things that are ahead for you. And your relationship, Sagittarius. You just need to have patience and stand firm. Okay? Wait for that blessing to unfold. Okay, Sagittarius. I hope this helps you. Um, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your Sun, Moon, and Rising and Venus for Love in the March playlist. You'll be able to find that. If this reading is reversed, feel free to take a look at your, um, at your person's sign if you'd like for more messages. And until your next reading, Sagittarius, many, 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 many blessings to you. Love and light.